Hey guys, Poetic29 here. Welcome to episode number 46 of my Bucket Plugin Coding Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to save and load hash maps. Um, in the past, we have, uh, a few episodes ago, we made a plugin called Steps that utilizes the scoreboard to show, um, the different to show the number of steps that a player has taken. I mentioned in the video that um, that uh, this plugin in, in its state, current state, would not be able to save and load, and that you guys should be able to handle it on your own. Uh, I then got a few comments of people asking me if I could make a video teaching how to save and load. So I am going to make the video. Uh, before we begin, I just want to point out two things. The first thing is, you guys, before we begin, we're going to be using a little bit of um, parsing in this. If you don't know what that is, or you do, but you don't know how to do it, I would recommend that you watch my um, Java coding tutorial that I made a few months ago on parsing, because we're going to be doing a little bit of that today. And it may be helpful if you watch that just to get sort of an idea of what we're doing. Let's go ahead and get started. What, let's work on two different parts. We're, we're going to start with the saving, and then we're going to go on to the reload, reloading. So we're going to go. We're, excuse me. Going to go ahead and make our on disable event. And this is the first time in a long time that I've ever used an on disable event in my. Uh, in my plugins, but uh, we are going to need the on disable to handle saving. It's just easier. You could you could save um, every single time you change the score, but it, it really is just easier to save it on disable. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want. And by the way, for this, we're not going to be using a settings manager. We're just going to be using the get config method and save config methods from the uh, plugin class that steps extends uh, you could use a settings manager but there's no need and it would just take time for me to type it out so what we're gonna want to do is say for offline player p scores dot key set now what we're doing is when we call scores dot key set it returns all of the keys which in this case are all the offline players in a set and a set is very similar to um, to an array list and we're iterating over it so we're going through every single offline player that has a score and we're going to want to say get config and the, the easiest way to do this is we're going to go ahead and say list string um, score uh, we'll just call it s for scores equals get config dot get string list and it's going to be called scores so inside of the um, configuration file inside of the uh, config dot yml we're going to have a um, file we're going to have it's going the format is going to be um, like this it will say scores and then for every score it'll have player name colon and then whatever their number of steps is. So, and then, you know, maybe it'll say Pogo Stick 29 has 29 steps, whatever. So it'll save it in that format. The reason why we're doing that is because when we save it as a list um, of strings, we can easily iterate over it rather than saving it in a format like, um, like you know, Pogo Stick 29 has 29 because that w it would it's just easier to do it this way in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and say s dot add p dot get name plus colon plus scores dot get for p, and then that will return the uh, number of st oh sorry because then that returns the score scores dot get p dot get score. Because when we do scores like get p, it returns a score, but if we do get score, then it returns an integer. And then we can go ahead and say, uh, get config, and actually, we're going to want to declare this outside of the for loop. So we have our list of strings, 
Then we're going through and adding everyone, and then we go ahead and say get config dot set scores to s, and then save config. So what that'll do is on disable it will save. It will go through all of the players in the hash map of scores, and it will save their score to the configuration file. Now we need to go ahead and do the on enable to load everything. So we can actually go ahead and let's copy this and paste this. And so this is it's, um so what we're doing is uh what we're going to want to do is we're going to say for string s, sorry, string str from s. So we're going through every single string um in that list of strings. And then we're going to say string array words equals str dot split colon and what that's going to do is it's going to return a string array made up of words and it splits it at the colon so if it says pogo stick 29 and 2 it will return a new string array that contains pogo stick 29 and 2 it's a very handy method so we're going to go ahead and say um, scores dot at sorry scores dot put and let me see okay we're gonna want to go ahead and say scores dot put and you can actually go ahead and copy this and paste this and you can say scores dot put bucket dot get server dot get offline player four words zero the first word and then you can also um, put in the score for a number and then we should be able to and then I think we want to say scores dot get for bucket dot get server dot get offline player for args zero or sorry words words zero dot set score to um words one or sorry to integer dot parse int integer dot parse int for words one and then we don't need that any and then uh that should be good so that should handle the saving and the loading uh, one more thing that we need to do is we need to make a um, oh yeah before we do this we want to do um, I believe we want to do save default config and that will just save the default configuration file now we need to go ahead and make a file called config.yml and inside of it we are going to want to put scores and then just like that with that little box and basically in YAML um, that box means an empty array I believe so let's go ahead and export steps and let's hope that it works and let's go ahead and fire up our server oops there we go let's see if it'll start up or if we have an error. Looks good. So now, let's go ahead and look. If we go to our uh, bucket plugin coding tutorials, and then we go to testing server, and then plugins, you will see here's the steps config, which is just an empty score just like we had it before so now let's go ahead and start going with this and okay so now I'm walking around and my number of steps is going up so let's get it to 29 ah 30 alright good enough now let's go ahead and I'm gonna stop the server and now remember when I stop the server without it saving anything the server it would just 
because this hash map is stored in the memory, and when I shut down the server, then it get then it goes away. But if I go ahead and look in here, you will see it says Pogosic 29 and 30. So that means that it did save correctly. Now let's go ahead and start up the server again. Now that hash map that we had before that contains everything is now gone. It was it's lost in the memory. But if I go ahead and join, then you will see that the number of steps was persistent and it started at 30 and not at 0. So that is all you guys need to know for this video. You can now um, successfully save hash maps. Uh, so anytime you have a hash map that contains different values and you want it to be persistent through reloads or disables, then that is the way to do it. There are other ways to do it. You could save the configuration at the point when you when you update someone's score, you could save the configuration. Then uh, you could you could also load the pl you could load the um, the score for the player in a join event. Um, you know there are different ways to do it. That's just the way I'm going to show you, and it's the general idea so you can you know play with the code. Um, we are also very close to the 500 subscriber mark. So uh, again, I will be doing a uh, paintball live coding video. I've gotten a ton of requests for uh, mini games, so I'm gonna I'm going to actually make one and then release the code. So uh, make sure to tell all your friends about the event. We'll figure out I'll figure out a day soon once we uh, you know get closer to or hit 500 subscribers. But it will be soon. And uh, I'm hoping to get a nice audience to watch. Uh, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn if it's not in the list. And I'll pull up the list for a second. This is the list. I can cross off saving hash maps. And I added colored armor today. Someone requested that. This is everything that I'm going to be doing. And if it's if you if you want something that's not there, you you can uh, feel free to comment about it. And I will see you guys tomorrow.